no, excuse me, brother. Ki is brother, excuse me. Sh- I'll put forward the question on the slip. Mr. Mehtas, why are most of the Muslims fundamentalists and terrorists? The question posed is by Brother Mehta, why are most of the Muslims fundamentalists and terrorists? The question is posed, I give the answer. If you like it, you take it. If you don't like it, leave it. Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 256, like Rahafid Deen, there is no compulsion in religion. Truth stands out clear from error. I present the truth to you. If you like it, you take it. If you don't like it, you reject it. No problem. There is no compulsion in religion, like Rahafid Deen. Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 256. Brother Mehta has asked a question that why are most of the Muslims fundamentalists? Why are they terrorists? What is the meaning of the word fundamentalist? Fundamentalist is a person who follows the fundamentals. For example, a person, to be a good mathematician, he should know, he should follow and practice the fundamentals of maths. He should be a fundamentalist in the field of maths to be a good mathematician. For a person to be a good scientist, he should know, he should follow and practice the fundamentals of science. He should be a fundamentalist in the field of science to be a good scientist. For a person to be a good doctor, he should know, he should follow, and practice the fundamentals of medicine. He should be a fundamentalist in the field of medicine to be a good doctor. You cannot paint all fundamentalists with the same brush. You can't say all fundamentalists are bad or all fundamentalists are good. For example, you have a fundamentalist robber who's expert in the field of robbing. But he's harmful for society. He robs the people and doesn't promote brotherhood. He is not a good human being. On the other hand, you have a fundamentalist doctor who follows and practices the fundamentals of medicine and he cures the sickness of human beings. He is a good person. He helps the human being. So you can't paint all fundamentalists with the same brush. Regarding Muslim the fundamentalist, I am proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim because I know, I follow, and alhamdulillah strive to practice the fundamentals of Islam. I'm proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim, and every Muslim, to be a good Muslim, should be a fundamentalist Muslim, otherwise he can't be a good Muslim. Every Hindu, to be a good Hindu, he should be a fundamentalist Hindu, otherwise he not be a good Hindu. Every Christian, to be a good Christian, he should be a fundamentalist Christian, otherwise he won't be a good Christian. Regarding is a fundamentalist Muslim good or bad? That's the question. Alhamdulillah, The fundamentals of Islam. There is not a single fundamental of Islam which is against humanity. So far, many of the brothers pose certain questions because of the misconception. Because of the misconception, you may think that this teaching of Islam is wrong. Like brother said, having cow is wrong, and I gave the answer. Brother said about certain things, and I gave the answer. So a person who has lack of knowledge, he may think that there are certain fundamentals of Islam which are wrong. But if anyone who has the knowledge of Islam there is not a single teaching of Islam which goes against humanity, goes against society. I challenge anyone, not only in this audience, in the full universe, to point out to me a single, a single teaching of Islam which is against the basics of humanity, single. Some people may feel bad, but as a whole, the teaching of Islam is best for universal brotherhood to promote humanity. There is not a single teaching and I challenge again. Anyone from the audience, they can ask me questions. I will clarify the misconception. Inshallah, when the time comes, there's the next question you can pose. One question at a time. When your turn was there, you don't reply. See, the thing is that you have to follow certain rules. The mic was empty for half an hour. No one came up. I told the brother, you're most welcome. You stand on the mic, no one comes. You can keep on asking one one question. Every third question will be your question. No problem. You can ask as many as, as much as the time the auditorium has been had for. There's no problem. So, I'm proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim. But if you read the definition of fundamentalism, in the Webster Dictionary, it says that fundamentalism was a movement which was started in the early 20th century by a group of Christian, the Protestants in America, who protested and said, that not only is the Bible, the teachings of the Bible, the word of God, but every letter of the Bible is verbatim the word of God. So the fundamentalism was first used for a group of Protestant Christians in America 
who protested and said that every letter word of the Bible is the word of God. If any human being who can prove that every word of the Bible is the word of God, then the movement is good. But if someone can prove that every word of the Bible is not the word of God, then the movement is not a good movement. But if you read the Oxford Dictionary, what is the meaning of the word fundamentalism? Fundamentalism, according to Oxford Dictionary, means strictly adhering to ancient laws of any religion, especially Islam. In Oxford Dictionary, they write especially Islam. The word especially Islam is there in the latest edition of Oxford Dictionary. That means fundamentalist immediately think of a Muslim. Why? The media is bombarding people that you know that these Muslims, they are fundamentalists, they are terrorists. The moment you think they were a fundamentalist, immediately people start thinking of a Muslim, start thinking of the word terrorist. And if you analyze, many a times, two different labels are given to the same person for his same activity. For example, you know, there were many Indians who fought for the freedom of India. When the British ruled India, there were many Indians who fought for the freedom of India. The Britishers called them as terrorists. Ah, these people are terrorists. But we Indians, we call these freedom fighters as patriots. Right or wrong? Patriots. They fought for the freedom of the country. Same people, same activity, two different labels. The Britishers called them as terrorists. The Indian citizens called them as patriots, freedom fighters. Same activity, same person, two different labels. So before you give a label, you should first analyze that which view do you adhere to? If you agree with the British view that the British government had a right to rule over India, then you would call these people as terrorists. But if you agree with the Indian citizen that the Britishers, they came to do business and they started ruling us unlawfully, then you'll call these people as freedom fighters. So before you give any label to any particular person, you should analyze which view do you have. Same people can be given two different views by different people. In this context, I would say every Muslim should be a fundamentalist where Islam is concerned. Because every teaching of Islam promotes human values and humanity and universal brotherhood. Hope that answers the question.